Hi, this is Jim Nelson of Photography Travel Tours, and today I'm going to bring you a tip on how I photograph doors and windows, especially doors and windows that um, have a perspective pr uh, problem, such as this image here uh, that I took in France last uh, year on a photo tour. Uh, you can see that uh, the lines are not straight, and this is because I'm pointing my camera upwards. So the key takeaway here is that when you are doing this photography um, and you're pointing your camera upwards or downwards uh, where you have converging lines to shoot your scene wide. And the reason you want to shoot your scene wide is because when you do correct these lines in Lightroom or Photoshop, um, you're most likely going to have to crop some of the image out. And I will demonstrate that here. Uh, it's probably better, easier for you to understand when I demonstrate this. In hindsight, if I was to shoot this image again, I, I would have shot it even wider because I'm really concerned about the space up here. I wish I had more space up here uh, between the top of this window and the frame uh, because I don't want to crowd that. But basically, we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to get from this uh, image, which uh, is, is has some really great subject matter, but to me, it's a snapshot. And so uh, what uh, we uh, like to emphasize on our photo tours and what we're hoping for some people to achieve and to kind of evolve into, if, instead of making a snapshot like this, we want you to uh, consider that you can make the image more pleasing and have it look more intentional, more professional, might be a good word uh, for that. So how do you get from this here, the snapshot, to this here, which uh, has been processed in Lightroom first and then in uh, Photoshop. So that's very easy. I'm in the develop module of Lightroom and uh, down over here is the transform box um, and there's various ways you could approach this. I found that by just clicking this full button down here, which is an automated feature that it did a really good job uh, you can see that it did a major corrections on the lines. They're still not quite perfect. You can see these are kind of going skewing up like that. Um, these aren't quite straight. And you can also see what I was talking about. Now we're going to have to crop stuff out on this image. That's why you want to shoot it wide. Um, uh, I think uh, potentially you could actually, instead of doing this in Lightroom, you could bring it into Photoshop with the transform and skew tools and perhaps uh, content aware fill where you could fill in these areas, these white areas and not lose um, subject matter there. But anyway, we're not going to do that. I'm going to refine this image a little bit because I see these ver vertical lines aren't quite vertical. Anything, keep a note in mind that anything you do, uh, if I'm going to try to correct these lines here, it's going to affect the whole image. So oftentimes your corrections are a bit of a compromise. I'm going to go to the vertical slider here and play with that. And my attempt is here to make these look a little more vertical or vertical. And you can see when you do activate uh, any of these uh, sliders that it brings up this grid, which is really helpful um, for eyeballing things. You could play with the Rotate, which is going to work on the horizontal. Uh, again, uh, any little adjustment oftentimes is a compromise, but I think that looks really good. Uh, and I'm going to go into the crop tool here. And the important thing is, again, I don't want to crowd this space here. I don't want to make this uh, bring this line down too much. So I'm going to start by dragging from the left corner. And I'm also paying attention to this stuff down here. I'm just going to go ahead and crop that whole window out, that bottom window, and something like that. And I actually think that looks pretty good. Actually, I'll bring it in from the bottom on the right also in there like that. We also have, we have this stuff in here. Um, we could either keep it or crop it out uh, in light, in Photoshop. I could open this image up to Photoshop in Photoshop with this crop and probably do a really good job of doing a content aware fill in here. Uh, and also in here, if I wanted to just get rid of this area here and over here also. Um, 
But if you didn't want to do that, it, let's just crop it more. I'm going to bring this down about like that. Uh, that did a pretty good job. Now all I have to worry about is this little spot right there. I'm going to go done. And I really like what it did. I'll show you the final image that I had originally worked on in Photoshop. And there it is. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. So here the tip is, again, the, the main tip is if you have to point your camera up or down and you are worried about your lines, photograph really wide and then uh, use the, this wonderful tool, the tools that we have, Lightroom and Photoshop, to do this correction. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, thanks for watching.